Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another one here on the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be taking a look at the C rating and identifying exactly what changes, if anything, on the C rating when we wire our battery packs in parallel or series. There's many radio control vehicles on the market there that require you to either place them in series or parallel and it's also up to you if you have a new build that you're working on. We're going to look at some of the parameters that we actually change when we take batteries and place them in parallel versus series and have a final output from that configuration. We're going to look at those specific parameters. Let's get started and take a look at the example battery pack that we're going to be using here in the video today. So what I have here is we're going to use two lithium Palmer battery packs and they are going to be of a 4S configuration at a capacity of 5,000 milliamp hour. And then to make it really easy for us to make some simple calculations, we're gonna use a C rating of 100 C. If we do the math on this, 100 C multiplied by our five amp hour gives us a continuous current rating of 500 amps. And of course, this would be at the voltage of 14.8. And I'm using the nominal voltage here because at that current rating, I can guarantee you that you're not gonna have 14.8 volts of power. In fact, I make a note here that this 500 amps of continuous discharge rate is not true. So I have here a battery pack. And for example, I have a 5200 Z battery pack here. It's got a C rating of 120 C. So that is beyond this specification that we have here in the example. And because of this, what I do is I place here a note. This is a fake specification. It's not real. We need to actually look at what the battery packs can do for real. And this this is why we do the many battery tests here on the channel. Once a month, we're testing a new battery pack and finding out ultimately what it can do in terms of performance. That Z battery pack that I showed you there was somewhere around 12 to 14 C in actual real life when you load it at 105 amps. Let's now take a look at our parallel and series configuration. So we have on the left hand side here, the parallel configuration. Let's take a look at the diagram and see exactly how this is getting wired in parallel. Parallel. So we take both of our battery packs and we have the positive outputs on both those batteries and both of those leads come together, which is known as placing them in parallel to form an output. So there we have our positive terminal. And then on the negative side, the exact same thing is happening where we combine our negatives and form a new negative output there as well. So what's important here about our parallel configuration is that we have voltage being unchanged and capacity is what is adding here. Each configuration that we're talking about here is going to change one of these two parameters. When we move over to our series configuration here, that's on the right hand side of the board, we have a new diagram that represents the series configuration. In this case, we take the positive lead of one battery pack, that might be our output. In this example, it is. And then the negative on the same battery pack goes to the positive of the second battery pack. Then we have the negative on that second battery pack becoming the output lead that goes to your radio controlled vehicle. In this case, it's probably an electronic speed control and that's what's gonna form your output for a series configuration. Now, what's important about the series is that voltage is what is adding and capacity is unchanged. That's the rules of parallel and series configurations. Now, I do wanna drop a note here and that is make certain if you are placing batteries in parallel or series that you get your wiring correct. If you incorrectly wire the battery packs, you could be left with a very dangerous situation, especially if you go and short out the leads of any one of these battery packs. So something definitely to keep in mind. Now let's take a look at what's happening in parallel and series when it comes to the numbers and specifications. Let's first start off on our parallel configuration here. When we place two packs in parallel and we have our 5,100C battery packs, what we're doing here is we're actually adding the capacity. So we take our 5,000, we double it, we get 10,000, and 10,000 multiplied by 100C is the new maximum continuous curve. And again, these numbers are not actual reality numbers numbers, the ones that we want to use for reality are very different than this, but this is what we see on the battery packs labels, which again, are incorrect. So we take a look at that and we get that 1000. We take a look at the total wattage and we can now output. And in theory, this, according to the label of a battery pack, this would be 14,800 watts. And that's essentially what this battery pack is saying that it can do based off of the label, which is highly incorrect. 
Uh, like we said, that 100 is actually closer to a 12C rating. Now let's take a look at the numbers here on our series configuration and we get the voltage now adding. So we take our 4S, we, which is 14.8 volts nominally, we multiply that by two and we get 29.6 volts. We multiply that by the same continuous current that we had before, which is up here at 500, and then we get 14,800 watts. So both of these configurations get to that same output the same way. And what is ultimately happening to our C rating? Well, the C rating is completely unchanged. The C rating is known to be a constant, so regardless Regardless of whether we place the pack in parallel or series, the C rating is not changing. What is changing as we noticed is the capacity which is affecting our continuous discharge current and we know that the voltage on our series configuration is what is changing there. So at the end of the day, our 100 C pack remains to be a 100 C pack regardless of the wiring configuration. Well guys, that's all I have here for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, like the video if you do. Don't forget to hit that sub button so that I can see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next one.